Hello and welcome back guys. Still fighting with one function. Yeah, so I promise this will be the last video on this function because it's taken up quite an amount of time. Okay, so now we need our source y, source x and y and the like. So these are going to come from the source image. So we have a source image resource here. So what I want to do with that is capture the original width and the original height, right? Of the source image so let's set those params I can set them right here or even here uh, no big deal really anywhere will do though uh, for speed I guess I want to create the destination right before I uh, do the cropping so let me move this down here because this takes quite an amount of memory so let's do all the calculations and then set that up okay so here I want the original uh, width right so what's the original width original width will come from the source image so let's do source image but there's a function called image um, image sx like so so this one gets its images x so let me copy this it tells me what the x of this image is and of course, as you have guessed, there's an image as Y. So it will tell me the Y of this image. So that's the height, right? Like so. So this function only works on image resources, not on file names. No, it works on image resources. So it knows the original width and the original height. That's good. So we need to know which of these two is shorter than the other, just like we were doing here. Which of the two is smaller? So I'm just going to say if uh, original height, or let's start with width so it's easier to remember. So if original width is greater, uh, no, is smaller than original height, let's do something here. And then let's put an else statement for when the opposite is true. And also there will be times when a square image is applied. So this will work here. It doesn't really matter because the square image doesn't matter which side you get. So as a result, if the original width is smaller, so let's look at this. If the width is smaller, which is this, then we're going with this method. So what we'll get is the same small side and use it for both okay so in this case let me copy this we will get the same small side and use it for both so the height and width of the source will be equal to the smaller side so let's do this and let's do that as well uh, let's put height here of course and what about the x? So we need to know where to start from, yeah? Where do we start from? So the x here is, in this case, this one. Uh, so we are starting at zero for the x, but on the y, we'll start somewhere here. So let's look at the zero first for the x. So x will start at zero. But what about y? So y is the complex one. So what we do is we subtract the two. So we know that this one is larger. So because this one is smaller in this case. So let's subtract these two guys. So I'm going to subtract the two. Original height minus original width. So what does this give us? This gives us, uh, if because th this is the width, right? and then I'm subtracting the height, which is longer. So once I subtract, I get uh, this piece right here. So all I need to do is divide this piece by two and then add it to the Y. So let's divide this by two. So what I will do is call this one an offset. Let me do this and just say offset. So I've subtracted these two, right? And then once I've subtracted, I want to divide the answer by two. 
and this is what I will add to the X, to the Y, sorry. So once I've divided that by two, oh, actually, it works pretty well, just like this. I don't need to set an offset. Let me just do this. It works really well because the subtraction of these two and then divide by two is equal to the Y. So which is uh, subtracting of these two gives me this and then I divide by two, then that is what I put for the Y. So this should actually work. But we have the opposite side here where things are a little bit different. So let me copy this and paste there like so. So the source X and Y have swapped this time so because this one, this other one is bigger, so the height is big in this, uh, no, 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 the width is bigger. So the subtraction should happen in the opposite way. We can't subtract a big number from a, we don't want negatives. So then divide by two, and then these remain the same, right? As you can see there, there, they remain the same. So which means they don't need to be in this, um, uh, if statement because they remain the same mm, wait wait oh no this is not even true at all this is not true this is not true okay so this one is y that is zero because we are dealing with this y is zero x is the one with an offset so let's change that to x okay great but what about the source width and height oh these are source width and height um, so in this case um, source width let's start with this one the source source width is the entire width so that's okay but the source height should be equal to this one again so the height since we are starting from here if we use the original height then this is going to go all the way down here and bypass here because we are starting somewhere in the middle so if we get the whole height which is this whole thing it's going to go down 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 so we just want to get a piece that is equal to this down here so in the first case we get the width as the height as well so since it's width here we will use width on both so i was right the first time and here we'll use height on both so height like so okay good 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 mm -hmm. now i don't need these guys anymore out okay looks like we have a valid cropping function here that should work very well now the only problem is at the very end here um let me copy this switch statement because if we originally got a PNG, we don't want to save it as JPEG, right? We want to save it as um, something else. Now, this function here, you can add a quality at the end. So let me put 90, 90 is quite good. On the others, you, you, don't, you don't need that. So you can put this at 100%, the zero is zero quality, 100 is maximum, but you rarely need 100%, so 90 is quite good. So what I would do here is put a switch statement, that very switch statement at the top. Uh, that way I can, um, yeah, this default will never happen. But if it does, we'll leave it at that. The reason this will never happen is because if we have the same switch statement at the top, if it ever went to this, then we would have exited the function by then. So this is irrelevant because it will never pass here. But we can just leave it there anyway. So I'll cut this out like so and put this on the JPEG side of things. So paste right there. Let's do the same for these others. Paste and paste. So if it's a PNG, obviously it's image PNG. But the image PNG doesn't use a quality. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember if it does. Uh, might be lying here. GIF, and then let's remove that quality thingy, like so. Mm -hmm. Only the JPEG has that. Or well, let's leave it there only. Okay, very good. Now create final image. 
or maybe let's say save final image mm -hmm. like so okay so i think we are done here this is how we crop our image mm -hmm. i probably should have used an if statement here if statement takes in less code but let me remove these code code uh, that isn't really actual code and maybe i can squeeze let's see here we don't need that it's just taking up space mm -hmm. okay great 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 uh sign values ba -ba -ba -ba. okay let's give it a test run shall we mm -hmm. so if i now go to let me save this let's go back here and i should see a cropped version of this image right there so let me refresh the page fingers crossed ba -ba. and i do not see a cropped version at all hmm let's inspect the element here so that it tells us what we are dealing with and it's not the cropped version at all so let me just check to see if a cropped version was created let's see ah there we go cropped and there we go look at that it was nicely cropped in the center very good but is it 600 by 600 let's uh, open the containing folder and check the properties and yes it is 600 by 600 pixels as opposed to the original that's 500 by 300 so wait a minute we enlarged this image didn't we and even made it bigger in file size wow Ugh. okay so you can decide on your own what the resolution for thumbnails is uh right now it's 600 as the default uh you can change it to 400 maybe let's put 400 and then or you can do that right here while you are supplying the thing when you say crop uh oh it's, the reason it didn't work is because i'm not uh so it's actually working i'm not cropping the the image version itself the image source so here on the crop you can put a comma and put what cropping you can put 800 then you do crop 800 by 800 uh, you can put 200 that's entirely up to you or you can leave it to use the default 400 in this case yes so let's see that in action i will refresh and there we go we have a cropped image very nice okay so this is good our images are now being croppable and so it means when we go to the front side we will have cropped versions of these images very nice I will see you in the next video.